with a video request. It is I, your main man. Now today, I'm going to be tackling a video from Vamp MRF. Now Vamp MRF asks how to play a prince in Vampire Mask Raid and not get killed. Well, first and foremost, you got to remember one of the big problems of Vampire the Mask Raid when people run games and they storytell they fuck the pacing up tremendously. It's like, big thing happens, big thing happens, big thing happens, big thing happens. How many hundreds of years just passed? Three days? Oh, wait a minute, you ain't doing something right, Bubba. You you definitely messed up that one. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you know, or worse, you know, it's like, big things happen, week goes by, big thing happen, you know, like, like a true blood. There's too much. And that's how neonates get themselves killed. The vampires that stay around do not do that stuff. You're a parasite. You're not going to get involved in that. No, 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 no. You go to ground, you hide, you scrape in the shit in the muck. And as a prince, you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. That's how you stay alive. You don't push ironclad on everything. You gotta keep everybody happy enough that you don't get flipped around and be the one down on the other end of the blood hunt. You wanna keep your primogen, by extension, the clans of your city happy. You wanna build a position around yourself through ghouls and so forth. You have to grant power to other people, even those you don't want, sometimes, just a little bit, just an acknowledgement, just enough to squash a fire and keep them in good enough graces where they go, well, we don't like you necessarily, but you're doing okay. And it's such a path of resistance really to take them out to start again to, to go in upheaval. Vampires don't want that. They don't want things going crazy or haywire. They don't want they want, so what you need to do is present a position of authority. You have to make them respect your authority to prove that you're strong, that you're, you're powerful, that you can be diplomatic, you can diffuse, diffusing situations and being able to have a character that can diffuse situations is extremely important. Also, what's very important is being able to drop the hammer. You need a lot of tools in your belt. You need to recognize who has what, what power bases are controlled, and overall you need to have in spies, the tremendous network of individuals that are feeding you accurate information so that you ultimately have at least enough control over your city that someone can't pull too much of a power play on you without getting that big jab back that makes them say, ho ho, I don't ever want to do that again. Now, you have to cultivate, of course, your own power, your own structure, both in a physical presence, both in a mental aspect, both in a social but most importantly, in the things, those needful things that fill your nights, the power bases, the retainers, the hunting grounds, the respect. You need to make them respect you and fear you. You need to do a good job not to get killed. If you do, if you have an agent and agencies of spies of intelligence bringing you information, you've got to kind of think of yourself sort of like a cross between the CIA and the president, or at least a very good mayor, that can handle all these different intrigues, that can seem to be strong, competent, and really the alpha male or alpha female of the group, the one that they know, regardless of what they want, they know they need you, they need to follow you. You do make unlife better in some degree. It's not about squeezing everything you can out of it. Make making sure there's a couple drops that fall Everyone gets just enough to keep you there. No one gets too much to get a little too fat. No one gets too much to challenge you. But they're, they're, they're still, they're still going to have enough. <clears throat> you know, apply the old Roman idea of bread and circus. Keep them distracted. Keep them entertained. Keep them fed. And they don't have too many problems. They use misdirection. When things are going bad, just like a politician. Oh, sex scandal. You know, throw something out there to get them involved, to get their attention directed away from you, away from the position. Scapegoat. You need to know how to scapegoat certain individuals. Have a whole line of scapegoats for different situations. You need to be prepared. If X, Y, or Z happens, what do you do? Don't go, duh. That's not what your character would do. Hey, at least if he wants to stay prince for long. He would have ideas and situations. He would have retainers prepared. He would have all kinds of ideas and uh, of, of other people. that you know He's leaked out information and he can basically sacrifice over, you know, if the big bad archon comes to town to whoop that ass or the evil Sabat roll in too deep, 
where's his backups? Where's his escape guards? He doesn't run out there at the front with a sword. No, no, he's the king, man. And the king will go underground. The king is he's, the prince is, at his very core, a complete coward. He's going to act and be bravo and bluster and persuasive and charismatic, but what he wants is to survive, to see his plans come to fruition. And he has plans, oh yes. That's another part of it. You have to have long-term plans to operate in every aspect to gain as much true control as possible, to allow others to believe they have control. If Kindred X controls in his mind a few things, but ultimately you have sway. So much sway you at least have a percentage, at least perhaps the entire control, and you're able to, to neutralize and take things over. Don't allow other Kindred to become indispensable to you. Allow them only to be valuable, and allow lots of them to be valuable in lots of different ways. And ultimately, rig the game, be the house, and make them gamble. You know, have boons and oath favors across the board, probably for for small things. But let them have things. You got to give them some drops of blood. You can't just be iron tight fisted. That's kind of uh, tyranny. Gets people killed. It's going to get a vampire killed. You gotta you gotta be a little flexible. Give them a little bit, but always keep face. Never let them take your face. That's what's important. Let them have this or that or the other thing as long as they ultimately have to look back and have to respect you. That's really how you keep yourself ahead of the game, how you keep yourself from not getting killed. So hopefully these ideas and bits of advice are helpful to get your situation. If you have any more direct questions or need any more expanding upon that, just let me know. And let me know what you guys think on how in the questions below, comments below if you will, to not get yourself killed, as he said, or to more importantly probably expand to become really the best prince you can make that character.